guys, uh, welcome back to the Religious Country Boy channel. Today I'm going to do an interview like I promised y'all. Uh, as you know, these two lovely ladies right here, uh, these are my sisters. We just got done making a video for our other channel called the Militrio channel. And uh, today we're just going to interview them, see uh, what they know about religion and stuff like that today. Uh, so, let's get right into it. So, uh, my first question to both of y'all is, one at a time, except honestly it's possible, how did you begin, tell the viewers how you begin to know Christ? I was raised in church. Yeah, you did. <laughs> it kind of just went like that. Well, uh, I don't know this, but uh, I remember, what was it, when, what was it, when it was about, I don't know if you remember this or not, either you. Wait. Was it about when we was like little bitty? We had a church of our own and stuff like that. Oh yeah. Uh, as you know, as you may or may not know, uh, I'm sort of I'm kind of a preacher. I am a preacher and stuff like that. Y'all know this, but uh, I ain't gonna get too much into my story about how I began to know Christ because you you know people. Are, uh, so uh, this man has seen miracles. Well, I guess you could say that. <laughs> um, so my next question is. Uh, how do you like living out here in the country? Amazing. You really gonna ask me that question? It's called Country Boy for a reason. Country life okay. is great. It's awesome. I wish I lived in the country the whole my entire life. Thank you. I really love it. Uh, I was telling him I was planning on doing uh some vlogs, maybe fishing, hunting vlogs, and stuff like that. You know, country boy stuff. You going to soon? Uh, maybe do a little coon hunting, you know, stuff like that. Uh, my next question is, is, uh, uh, this is very odd topic. I just popped this one in my head. What do y'all two think about my driving skills? <laughs> They're amazing. Um, he drove all the way from Portland, if you know where that is, to here, Spyro. Great. This one ended up falling asleep, so she can't say much, because she mm -hmm. slept the whole way through it, but still. It, it's amazing. It's smooth and... Everything goes right, 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 right. A butter knife through cheese. Uh, <laughs> or through butter. Butter knife through butter is a move. Yeah, uh. He's uh, better driver than our brother. Honest. Yeah, well. To be honest. He asked us to be honest and we're being honest. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I'm a, I'm a good driver. I would say that. But, uh, I wouldn't scared, say. Scared us a few times. I wouldn't say that I'm the perfect driver because he, I'm not perfect by he no gets, means. He pulls up to a yeah. stop sign, looks both ways, and then asks her mom, is it clear? Can I go? <laughs> Even though he looks both ways and knows it's clear. Is it clear? <laughs> it's, it's just hilarious. Uh, it's fun. <laughs> so, uh, you know, uh... <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, so... Uh, so uh, here's a good question on this country topic. What, when we went fishing, if you remember going fishing, what was the biggest fish you remember seeing someone catch? See someone or biggest fish? Mom, 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 mom caught maybe a pie four pounder. Oh, oh yeah, the one that the mom, big cat. Wait, did you say the one that we caught or could it be? I mean anybody. Food? I mean y'all. Oh caught yeah, probably not. Besides, besides what mom caught, we have we didn't see him caught, but um. They, they, mom, while we were testing, mom and, my mom and Alex went to, uh, watch, look at the lake, and uh, so people, a couple people on a speedboat brought them big old fish. Yeah, I'm talking about, you would probably say about 15 to 17 pound catfish. I'm talking big about Big ones, and huge. they were alive. And they're in, mm -hmm. well, I'm planning on eating me some catfish for you, because I, I, I love like, catfish. I do not uh, like fish, okay. but I like to fish. I don't like <laughs> eating fish, but I love to fish. No fire family likes eating fish ever. Him and his dad. Fish to me is really gross. But, yeah. So. Uh, another thing is, is, uh, they did not know that, uh, I'm, I mean, they know, my si siblings all know that. I'm a big guy. I love, well, I'm not a big guy. Why did I say that? <laughs> Uh, he's I, a medium sized guy. I, okay, look. He's a, look, normal, he's a see, normal sized this, guy. <laughs> this is my size. He's, okay. a, he's a normal sized guy. He's just a little tall. He's a normal uh, sized guy. But, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, 
Okay. Give us a second. Give us a second. But if I was though, he's a normal person. It's all right. I might help a little. Dad uh, was in there last year, so to say he's uh, a normal size uh, guy. <laughs> okay. Uh, but the funny part is, is, I was going to say that I'm a, I'm a big type of person that loves to eat sushi a lot. I mean, uh, these two, as you can tell, they don't like it. I mean, no Mexican for me. No sour cream. No rice. <laughs> no seaweed. No guacamole. Nothing. I will eat sushi once. Very picky. It's like crab meat and has no seaweed. Oh, I don't like crab meat either. I love crab, crab meat. meat. So uh, I am. A, I'm the picky one in the family, so it's gotta be a certain thing or I won't eat at all. And tacos that has to have sour cream on it or I won't eat that. So my next question is this. I know this is gonna be kind of off subject, but on subject, but it's all an interview. Uh, I'm gonna ask this mm -hmm. on, 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 on separately. So I'm gonna start with Kayla, and then we're gonna be you. Alright? What do you see your future as? Like, what do you want to be when you grow up? You know, uh, uh, career-wise. You know. Any clue? I want to do something with animals. Okay. So vet, maybe. I don't want to be a vet. To me, I couldn't be a vet because I can't go and I can't operate on animals or. I can't go and give them spots or anything. I just can't do that. I used to want to be a vet. Now I want to be like somebody that works like at Sea World or something like that. Well, as you know, I never been to Sea World, so I don't. I know never either. either. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna ask you the same question. Where do you see your future? So I have a couple of things in mind. Mm -hmm. I want to be a rodeo. I also want to. I pretty soon when I get my Xbox, I want to be <laughs> a gamer. So. We'll tell you what that is when I get it started. Her name is going to be Kay Gaming. <laughs> hopefully. Hopefully. Uh, um, and then I'm also trying, when I get that age, I'm going to start college and I'm going to get my career started with uh, being a lawyer. I'm going to be a DA. My plans, because I have a lot of people I already said that I'm going to take care of, but that career's got to go. <laughs> well, as you know, my big future, and I never said this either. My big future is I want to be a full time YouTuber. Uh, I, I want. Can't, I can't be a full time YouTuber because it just I have to go outside once in a while. I can't sit in a chair. Alex, I I do want to be a YouTuber, but I might not be full time. But I do want to be a YouTuber. So, um, with my lawyer thing going, they my, everybody in my family said I would be a good lawyer because I can literally argue with a fence post and win. In the you can ask him and her. I can argue with anybody and win. And they all said that I would be a great lawyer. So that's my career goal. And you know, I think about, I thought about this, and I thought about it. And honestly, if if I ever got a fence post, I'm gonna record Kane and argue with him. See what happens. But like I was saying, I want to be a full time YouTuber. Uh, I want to get into a, a little bit of rodeoing. Uh, I don't know how to ride a horse, so I'm just saying that, but hopefully... I, I have rode a couple of horses, and my teacher is supposed to teach me how to barrel race, and that's what I'm planning on being soon, when I get a, enough room for a horse, or when I do get a horse, that's what I'm going for. Um, starting out young is great. That's what I just gotta say. So, uh, my next question. Do y'all see yourselves playing a musical instrument anytime soon? Yes! yes. We both want to be a violin. They want to be. Violin. They, you want to be a violin? How you supposed to be a violin? Well, you do. You want to play a violin. You want to play a violin. Hey, from the right side, you can lay over your shoulder and rub across the belly like a violin. Uh, but uh, I guess this is where the this is where the comedy gets in. Uh, but uh, the comedy already did it. Uh, these two want to be country. Uh. Violin players, and I can see that happening. Uh, I have wanted a violin for so long. So long. I'm just waiting on that day when I get one. <laughs> uh, my next question, and I'm going to get a lot of hate for this question, but uh, how often do y'all read the Bible? <laughs> <laughs> besides going to, to be church, serious, though. Besides going to church, um, I have a Bible up on my phone. And it gives out daily scriptures, but um, I use, most of the time, I don't read a Bible. 
Yeah, I don't mean by Libra. But then, but then again, this is not an excuse. But we are still in school. Unlike Alice, where he has tons of time in his life to read a Bible besides yeah. church. You we can, we have softball, basketball, you can look which is not an excuse. Softball. I mean, we can do it when we're driving to our games and everything. But we're mostly doing our schoolwork. Yeah. You can literally look at all the scriptures I've wrote down on this thing. It, it yeah. Now, right. I do have a Bible up, and I do read a daily scripture. And I don't even have a phone. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I mean. That's my wife's opinion. I don't read a Bible as much as I should. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I don't read that much. You might be thinking, I don't read that much, but I do read some if I get time, because. You know what uh, I said this man has seen miracles? So, I heard a story my mom told me. When she was, when he was maybe very young, he was sick with the. Flu, I had I the flu, so like, I was so sick, bad. So bad. And you know yeah. the olive oil they go and they rub on your head, annoy people, people with. So he saw our grandma do that to people, and, and he, I was thinking I could they, get healed by drinking it or something. So yeah. he became missing, and um, mom, my mom said that he, they started looking for him, and they turned around and he had got a hold of the olive oil and drunk it. And the next day, he didn't even have a running nose. Now that right there. <laughs> That's a miracle. That right there is the power of God. I'm going to tell then, you that. I was in a strong relationship with God because when he was two, he started preaching at the age of two. And he would open up a Bible like he can't read it and not be able to. And all he I said was. This thing turned around real fast. <laughs> all he said was. Um, Jesus is coming. You better get ready. Exactly. He said, Jesus is coming. You better get ready. And that right there is a word in itself. Yeah. Uh, so I have to say, he has a strong relationship. You know what's funny? We weren't even older than you, but we know what you did when you were You weren't even born yet. You weren't even born yet. You weren't even born yet. Like, I'm 13, he's 18, you can see the uh, relationship. Yeah, here's the next question. And I've, had, I've told this on YouTube a lot before I went to, before I went to this religious country boy channel. Uh, I said, I'm going to ask y'all this question. I told them, I asked them, and if y'all, I know, if y'all subscribed to before, uh, you probably got this answer for it, but if the Lord decided to come tomorrow, would y'all have been ready? Well, I say I might be, because, you know, the Bible, all well, you have to do is literally repent. Yeah, but well, I'm trying to and say. And then ask God to come back into your life. Nobody, the Bible says that nobody knows the hour of the Lord's exactly. return. So, but you got to prepare yourself daily to, you know. See, they the said that repent daily. So, that's my I, way. I feel like I would be ready, but I, I don't. Mm, I, I don't doubt myself know. a lot. I doubt that. I I get so worried that Jesus is going to be coming and then I'm going to freak out because I don't think I'm ready. Because I'm the type of person that I have to have the correct answer. I get down and depressed because I I know I could do better and I know I should do better and everything. And then once that that thing drops, I'm just that explains your test grades. <laughs> uh, uh, next question. See, when I'm doing homework, I can have like a ninety. Sorry, uh, I can get a ninety, and I have to get a hundred, or I, I'm upset. Like, I'm that type of person, it has to be good. But even though nobody's perfect, I have to be there. <laughs> and me, I don't really care. <laughs> so, keeping this in mind, here's my next question. Out of y'all's opinion, you got remember your first time you was ever baptized. Did you or did you not have your mouth open when water went down in your throat? Did not. I, feel, I have no idea. I'm the type of person that goes with those. <laughs> Well, because when I was little, I got so afraid that I was going to drown when they hold me under. So I would never get baptized. But I remember once when I was like six, I got baptized. See, our grandpa used to and baptize then, us in a pool. Yeah, and then we didn't have a pool anymore for like two or three years. And then I finally got baptized in the lake by my uncle. Well, <laughs> keeping that in mind, I'll tell, you, I'll tell you a little bit. When I was first baptized... I had my I had my nose shut, but all of a sudden my mouth was open and water went down into my windpipe and I came up out of water. <coughs> yeah. I mean, 
But, uh, I mean, I can't. Her voice just cracked again. <laughs> <laughs> if you watch the military, you will understand that my voice has to be level. If it gets too high, I start cracking. And then if it gets too low, I start cracking. And it's just, it, and y'all guys, it's a real problem with our military, but that's okay. And y'all guys, my note is that us three, we don't really have the same level of voices. Like, mine is higher than both of them. I got more and then of a Alex is, is wait, and then Alex is higher than Kaya, and then and Kaya is in the end. Yeah, uh. <laughs> He's gotta get up for a second. I gotta get up right for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, y'all. He ain't doing anything. He's I'm not doing anything weird tonight. <laughs> uh, okay. <clears throat> okay, here's a question. Our YouTube channel, the Miller Trio, where do you see it going in the future? <laughs> Up here. <laughs> I hope people will get the watching. Our reason for... The Mill Trio is for people to praise in their own way, worship God in their own way, and I hope people just tune in with us ever so often just to hear us and praise to God, because we're not, we do it for God, and I, um, so. and I feel like it's going to be high, but not that high, I feel like it's just going to level out. Well, because there's like a thousand YouTubers out there, and I don't think all. Oh, well, <laughs> I've always was told, and uh, this person <laughs> I went to school with, he always told me, "You just do it the way you know how. Do not try to be somebody else. Don't be someone you're not, because the people aren't gonna want somebody that they're trying to act like somebody." And else, I have you know? to say, in our YouTube videos, my oh, girlfriend. <laughs> I'm, I gotta say, our Mill Trio, we're not perfect. We're not gonna hit every note perfectly. We're gonna mess up the songs every so often because we're not perfect. And it's really, it's really easy to mess up the song, especially if it's going fast and you're like a few minutes behind and you're trying to catch up. You're gonna mess up a lot. And if it's an upbeat, fast song and, and you're, it's hard and, to, it's hard to stay still. If it's an upbeat song and your voice has to be a certain level. Or you're gonna start right your voice is gonna start cracking and you're gonna sound like you're dying. <laughs> then that's also gonna be a messed up song because their voices can go high and low without hurting. If I go too high, the next verse I can't even do because my voice won't let me. Like there's multiple times where we had to restart the camera. I'm doing some behind the scene here. We had to restart the camera because like our video we just made. We went to say our name. I was like, Alex, well, I got to mine, and I could, mine sounded like a little chipmunk screaming. <laughs> it, sounded, it sounded like a, it sounded like a, a squirrel got hit by a car. Exactly, right? and it was because my voice, my voice just didn't want me saying my name, because uh, I kind of went a little too high, okay. and it just, uh, <laughs> and it just didn't work. So we had to restart the camera, and oh. then, then, Alex, there's one time where Alex thought I was going to start dancing and he first says, don't do that. And I had to restart the camera. I'm like, Alex, don't say don't do that in the middle of the game. But that but, and then we had to restart because Alex goes, uh, <laughs> in our video, I'm like, why? <laughs> no, he uh, didn't have a point of video, but I think it got in the video sometimes. So. I, think, I just think Kayana pressed the button just when I was coughing. And, <laughs> and we had just, but like I said, like she said earlier, we don't try to be somebody we're not. We're just trying to show people that they can praise God in their own way, you know. The thing about us three is that when we get together and we, like, look at each other, we just start bursting out in laughter because it's kind of hard for us to, like, just stare at each other and not have to <laughs> and not be silent because we want to do it. We want to do it right because this is gospel music and we're trying to do it for the Lord. But then when we're staring at each other in the middle of a video and we're looking at each other, and one of us do something weird. Like, I go to get a drink, and I think you probably got heard me. I went to get a drink in the, in the middle of recording after our first and song. Yes. And I go, <laughs> and right next to the camera, too. I done it right next to the camera, and I'm pretty sure you guys heard me, but that's because of my voice. So, my right. last my last question. And it's mostly me and Alex. I will just be walking down a hall. Them two. Our first well, video we made. Them two. Couldn't stop laughing. We'll just start looking at each other and we'll just start laughing. Well, we, they couldn't start laughing.
laughing, and then we were like all getting mad at each other because we're like, you guys are a bunch of embarrassments, and, was, and then they'll look at each other, you're a bunch of embarrassment, and that's what took us a long time to get back into making videos yeah. again. It's because we kind of disputed. But we're back together now, and we're better than ever, so go check it out. Uh, so, my last question uh, for y'all is uh, uh, what do you plan on having, like, animal wise out here on this? Acre we got, you know. Bunch of farm animals. All yeah. animals. Every single animal besides snakes, spiders. Well, you're not going to get rid of the snakes. I don't think you're going to get rid of the spiders either. I love the all animals. I'm the type that. So I went to help my uncle do some stuff. 20 bucks. Got to learn to drive a lawnmower. Not that big. Got to learn to drive a lawnmower. No, it was 20 bucks for a small pile of brush to be moved and then a little patch of grass to be mowed. And he taught me how to ride a mo ride a mo a lawn mower. Um, Twenty bucks. Um, um, lawn. Twenty bucks. But then they had a bunch of kittens that were come out there, and one of them ended up they 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 have a box outside. One of them ended up having kittens. Four or kittens in that box. And when I saw them today, I almost I just I wanted them, even though they were even though um he still needed her mom. Yeah. Even though they still, they were four days old, and my <laughs> uncle, they were four days old, and my uncle was like, you can have them, I'm like, don't they still need their mom, because if they don't have their mom, they're not going to survive, and that's just how I am, even though I want something really bad, if I know that they need something or they're going to die, then I can't do it. Well, uh, before we get off from this, uh, thing. You don't. Oh, <laughs> okay, so I need, I want like a um goat and I want a um a Yorkie. So bad. <laughs> okay. Uh well now for some comedy. <laughs> Come on, Alex. For, for the last few minutes we got, you know. Come on, Alex, just shoot uh, a just shoot a question at us. Uh you haven't had time to play for the shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> uh, okay, you want some comment? Yep. Uh, want to hear a good joke? Go for it. Why did the toilet paper roll down the hill? This is the stupidest joke I've ever heard anyone crack. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is so no. stupid. No, listen. listen. Don't tell, don't say listen. anything. Just... Why did the toilet paper roll down the hill? To get to the bottom. Okay. Why did it the toilet paper roll down the hill? It got stuck in a crack. <laughs> <laughs> it's so stupid. It's so stupid that it makes it funny. I don't know if it's funny for uh, y'all, but it's just stupid. Uh, but <laughs> now the corner one, I think it's a little too inappropriate. But you can just say if you want. So why did the world seem in it? No, no, no. no. <laughs> uh, but <laughs> well, <laughs> man. Um, tell us another joke. I got one oh, more joke to tell you. Yeah. You guys want to see something funny? Wait, 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 don't actually hit me. Okay? Exactly. Wait, 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 wait. I got a better idea. I got a better idea. Ready? Hold on. One sec. <laughs> but, uh... My turn. No, not really. Not. Ain't gonna hit you. Ain't gonna hit you hard. Oh, God. Good again. All right. Oh, my God. Well, let's give uh, these two ladies a round of applause out there. Uh, uh, thank you for uh, giving us. Anybody in. else like it's really ugly weird for our friend to call their sisters lovely or uh, okay. women? <laughs> thank, thank you, girl. Uh, you, you got it. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Thank, I'm not a guy either. Thank, thank you. Uh, for doing this interview. Uh, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish we didn't have fish. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what I was trying to say, so I just said something. <laughs> okay. Um, That's my talent. <laughs> thank y'all guys. Uh, I appreciate the, uh, appreciate it. As always, please like and as always, I want to say, please give our other channel, Militrio, some love and support. But like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you on uh, the lickety and, flip side. And remember, <laughs> and remember, he is a normal size man. I'll see you lickety split.